Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and today I'm a little bit sleepy, but I think I'm going to take a nap. Napping is an important thing to do in this video game. So, we're going to take a nap, even though school is... I'm pretty sure school is useless now. Um, we can confirm that today if we want. If it's still useless on a Tuesday, then that's a bummer, but we'll go find out. Together. So, running off to school, real quick. I was told to check out the raw yellow dorm by uh, a fan to get to uh, get the cat. And I just wanted to show you guys that I've actually done this in a previous episode. Pharaoh the cat is not here at 6am. Nice try though. Nice try. Maybe you're playing Beginning of Destiny and not Tag Force. And now we're just going to go ahead and go actually to class. So let's go over to class and let's see how we're doing. <clears throat> I hope I get better at school as I'm not the best at it. Hey, what's your name? My name's Cooper. Uh, yes, I'd love to attend class. I see Chaz, I see Zane. Hey, PE! You know what? This is a class we can learn. It's volleyball again, isn't it? Yeah, Professor Fontaine loves volleyball. What's wrong with volleyball? We'll have a marathon. One lap around the island. Oh my god. What? Starting now? I, I'd, I'd rather play volley a volleyball. Then let's do volleyball. Yay! She's ingenious. <laughs> I love that. Oh no. We're done with today's lesson. Okay, yep, that, that lets me know that school is completely worthless, but at least that was fun. So, we're going to be going out into the world and we're going to start dueling people for money. Which we always do, but it's a little different this time. I'm going to go... I'm afraid of Obelisk area, but we could probably go to the Raw Yellow Dorm. We, we, we could attempt a Raw Yellow Duelist. I'm just, oh wow, an Obelisk Blue Duelist is here. I'm just a little scared. And I feel like I have every right to be scared. Alright, what about you? What's your name? A duel allows you to strengthen yourself. You laugh, you cry, you grow as a person. Pippin, Pippin is my name, and you like, uh, and like you, I live to duel. It's great to meet you. They say a monkey lives in the forest, you know? Probably nothing more than a rumor, don't you think? I wonder if we'll ever meet that monkey. Uh, I'd only be interested if the monkey were a duelist. Well, wouldn't you? <laughs> what a coincidence, Pippin! Alright, we're gonna duel Pippin here. We're gonna see which of us has a stronger will, which one of us is better with using the cards. I'm already pretty darn decent. I'm not amazing, but I'm not bad. I'm like a... I would say a top... Top three Slifer Red student at this school. I can't confirm if I'm the best yet because I haven't consistently beat anybody. I've just done pretty good. Pippin's got a Fortress of Fists deck, which if that means it's a warrior deck, I'm in trouble. Make a good duel, as I will. If I had gone first, seven tools would have had a lot of value. Going second, I lose that value, but that's fine. Ah, it's a rock deck. Not what I was expecting. Oh, no, it's a Master Monk deck. There we go. Now I figured you out. So we're going to start Mother Grizzly, which might seem a little strange instead of starting Mermaid Knight. But we have to be sure that we can get Mermaid Knight in a safe situation. And Mother Grizzly can get me a Star Boy in a worst case scenario, so... Oh, Chusuke the Mouse Fighter! We defeated you! Alright, so all of his cards have to do with the fighting, guys. This is an interesting deck. It's not the best... Oh, he runs a field spell. God damn it. I never would have thought this deck would run a field spell, so that's why... Oh, well, turns out I should have just used Mermaid. Oh, never mind. Ha ha ha! You think you're good? Take this! I only own two Umis, so... Starting the duel with both of them is kind of wild. I'm going to go ahead and summon Mermaid Knight because I'm not falling for this again. Uh, Mother Grizzly goes first just because his monsters are weak and food. Well, that's not a monster I'm beating anytime soon. Okay. Yeah, Lakunga's a plant. It's not going to get buffed by Umi. That's a problem. I can maybe bait it into attack mode. He's bricked right now, which means he doesn't have any of his monk stuff. If I set Mother Grizzly, I might be able to bait it into attack mode. Just because raw yellow AI, let's see if it's even any good. Ah, I got him. Alright, but there's a new one, so it could be a problem. Luckily, Mother Grizzly died for a reason. I need myself a Star Boy. A boy that can buff up my uh, Mermaid Knight so she's a real threat. And then I'm going to summon Lakunga and let him be the one that has to crash against the wall over there. Alright, I draw. Giant Trunade is unnecessary at the moment. We're going to summon Lakunga. Lakunga and Mermaid Knight are all looking good. Um, we're going to let Lakunga attack face down. It's just Chusuke. 
All right, and we're going to let Mermaid Knight go to town. Because he's not in defense mode anymore, he doesn't get his good effect of putting a monster back to the top of the deck. A really brutal effect, all things considered. <clears throat> now that we've done some major damage, we're going to do another 1250 because it makes me feel good. And then we're going to end our turn and see what happens. Mermaid Knight with Umi and Starboy is quite the combo after all. Master Monk. Yeah, uh, Monk Fighter. Does he have it? Does he have the boss? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. He would have used it by now. If he gets rid of Starboy, we're in trouble. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this. He's gonna get rid of my Starboy. I know it. Crap. I need to draw another Starboy. Or draw Premature Burial. No. Too late for that. Okay. Only one monster in the grave. Fine. So be it. I don't like what I'm about to do, but I'm doing it anyway. Alright, I summon my boss monster, knowing that I'm not going to be able to keep my boss monster. I attack your annoying jujitsu master. And what's worse, my boss, this is like the most like valuable usage of that guy's boss. And what's worse, it goes back to the top of my deck, so my next draw is a brick. But, as long as they don't have another card, it's basically a guaranteed win for me. Because I kept the most important card, Mermaid Knight. Literally the most important card, son of a bitch. Alright, well, that's, uh... I'm bricked, so yeah. Oh, he's bricked as well, but I'm bricked as well. Alright, so that's no good. Raw Yellow Student with really good spells and traps is destroying me, despite the fact that he has bad monsters. That's not a bad monster. Alright, that's a lie. That one's a good monster. The rest of them are bad. I'll take 13. I don't care about 13. Who knows? Maybe I'll draw my other Mermaid Knight, and I'll just win the duel. Nope, I drew Fisher. I don't really need Fisher. I'm just gonna end my turn. Fisher should be saved for an important card. Just take the 13. We don't need Threatening Roar just yet. They're not even summoning other monsters. Finally, a new card. That makes me excited. Ah, uh, well, at least we could stop them from playing Spells or Traps for a turn. I don't need my Threatening Roar. I'm not gonna take 4450, I don't think. It'd be pretty crazy if I did. Two Jujutsu Masters. I'm, it's taking me a long time to draw a single card, you know? Uh, I my monst my deck is 23 monsters by the way 23 are monster cards there we go seven colored fish here to prove uh, what I was just talking about I'm gonna go ahead and summon a fish and we're gonna do some damage all right we got him pretty low this whole duel turned around after this after that smashing ground it was the most valuable smashing ground I've ever seen Oh, that's an extremely good card. Holy crap. That is a very good card. And this could be a problem, depending on what he draws. Oh, he didn't draw a monster. Good. All right, let's end this duel. Activate Giant Truinade for guaranteed game. I activate Fisher for guaranteed game. The Star Boy was unnecessary, but it can help me win with exact damage, which gets me... I'm guessing a couple extra bucks, maybe like 20 or something, I don't know. You could check to find out because 1250, go. Of course, max damage bonus might have been more worthwhile. Who knows? All I know is I beat I beat this guy. The raw yellow student did turn the duel around. I was starting to get a rough hand. Rough odds, honestly. But it's all good. We we got the win. Alright, so let's see. New bonus. Exactly zero does get it's 20 bucks exactly. I was right. I was right, everybody, but he was worth some money, at least. Yeah, those raw yellow students could be worth some money. That's why they're worth dueling here and there. But that was a raw yellow student during the day. I want to fight one... One more. I kind of want to fight a main character, just to... Just to remind myself, like, what I'm doing here. Oh, I went to the main... That was an accident. I was just trying to press X once, don't worry. Yeah, I think I'm going to fight a main character... Am I ready for a main character? Look, this is really risky what I'm about to do. We're definitely going above our pay grade right now. But, uh, hi, my name's Cooper. What's yours? Oh, a transfer student. I'm Mindy. Oh, uh, I'll give you a C minus. By the way, did you want something? I, you're saying I'm passable. <laughs> or are you just admiring me? All right, yeah, I want a duel. 
A duel, that's fine with me. All right, we get to duel Mindy, everybody. This is gonna be a pretty tough time, but I'm gonna show you my fist. Ha ha. The power of fist compels you. So Mindy is gonna be a decently powerful duelist um, in this game. And my deck could definitely lose to her if I don't get lucky, so. Shit, if I want to be her friend, I have to be a good duelist? That's, that's asking a lot of me. That's asking a lot. Alright, how about this? I summon Mother Grizzly. I want it to die, and I don't want it to get Nobleman. And I got seven tools on the first turn, so I feel pretty confident. Alright, what did you get, Mindy? Why do you have fusions? Rapid Fire Magician. Okay, okay. It's part of your Hot Dude deck. I get you. I'm saving my Adhesion Trap Hole. It's not used for this. I don't like that he she has that card. Uh, because it does do burn, but I'm fine with it for now. Mother Grizzly, am I going to go for the basic guy, or am I going to change things up a bit? I think I'm going to go with the basic Star Boy. It's, it's not necessary right now, it's just fine. Okay, she has one trap, which is nothing to worry about. I got Abyss Soldier pretty early in this duel. Yeah, I'm going to use it. We're going to use Abyss Soldier on purpose. And the reason we're willing to do this is because we want to get some insane damage off on the first turn. Unless she runs scapegoats, that would really suck for me right now. But if she doesn't run scapegoats, then this is going to hurt. Because I activate Premature Burial aggressively. We're not, using, we're not saving it for later. We're using it on our Amphibian Beast. And I have insane damage for turn 3. Let's start off with the Star Boy. I want to see what kind of trap she's working with. Okay, she could be saving it. Abyss Soldier. Is that one worth it to you because it bounces cards? Nope. Yeah, well, I'm trying to win a duel here. Okay, this is almost blue eyes damage, so I hope you don't uh, mind. Yep, that one's a little bit more. You could tell that it was a lot stronger. Yeah, she's more upset there. And I almost had game. I was quite close. So show us those all those blue cards. That that you didn't you didn't do nothing. <laughs> you didn't show us your your obelisk blue strategy. You know what? For this, you die. Mindy, you have disappointed all your fans. I'm going to throw this card away. Thank you. Lakunga, it's time to get me a bonus by summoning five monsters. The five monster bonus. I think they call it like a full field bonus, but whatever. Yeah, fill up your monster field and that's extra money. That Lakunga token has 1,200 attack, by the way. That's a that's a real one. Now we're going to attack with Amphibian Beast and end the duel. And that is the end of Mindy, everybody. We thought it would be a harder duel, but we fought hard and we uh, did good work. Sorry, Mindy. Don't worry, we'll duel again someday. Just today you didn't do so well. Oh my god, did I just level up? Yeah, I had to have leveled up. She is worth 75. She's worth less than that raw yellow. Oh my god, you suck, Mindy. I'm sorry. It's just the reality of it. You're better in Tag Force, but you're annoying in Tag, in Tag Force 3, but you're annoying in that one. Hey, she doesn't hate me anymore. Isn't that nice? So, we uh, did that. Should I deal with this? Okay, raw yellow time. What's up with you, man? What, you want a duel, huh? The name's Deloge, so who are you, huh? I summon even the, in my sleep. Bring it on. Hey, the anti rules against school policy. Even if they allowed it, I wouldn't, so don't do it. Dude, what the hell is up with you? Bring it on, just you and me. I don't stop until my opponent surrenders. Oh god, are you a stall deck? Oh god, that's what I would say. I don't stop until you surrender. I would I would be a stall deck if I said that. Don't be that don't be that guy, Deloge. We're trying to have a fun duel here. Just you and me. True path trap removal, crap. Uh, it's better than monster removal, I guess, but... Oh, unless he means the traps will remove monsters. Uh-oh. Interesting. I don't know what he means by that. Alright, I'm gonna try and do an interesting start with Starboy. Even though he said he's trap removal, I want to see if I can uh, get two Starboys on the field. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. Big field spells make a huge difference in duels. Wait, the one guy who's immune to traps? Are you serious? Oh, oh, thank you, video game. I, I, I was feeling like having some hate in my heart today. 
You have, uh, you have accomplished this goal for me. You have accomplished this goal for me. Screw this. Screw this. Yeah, the guy who's immune to traps, I want dead. That guy is so valuable with Molten Destruction. It's not even a joke. Like, he is so good. He needs to be in the grave where I don't have to look at him for two seconds. He'll probably come back. This is going to be our first real fight. I thought it would be Mindy. It's going to be this guy. Thank God we drew a Abyss Soldier. I need to draw Omi or we're going to lose. I need to kill that field spell. Oh, he's that, that was all he had was that monster. But two back row is very scary for a raw yellow student. All right, let's keep it simple. Just go with Starboy. Something, something not too scary. Not worth uh, hitting me with. I'm actually going to use this. And the reason we're doing this is to get monsters into the grave. And we're just going to guess that this is the problem. All right. 50% chance I hit the problem. Okay, 1,050. 23, don't let, don't let this monster be killed. Okay. Okay, we don't know if it was a problem, but at the end of the day, I got a monster in the grave. Oh, that's wild. Okay. It's not problematic enough for me to want to bounce it. I'm okay with that. Okay, no two, no four. No two, no four. Sure. Oh, God, he's got so much back row. Okay, time to get Lakunga's value up. Giant red sea snake, I know what you're thinking, but no, I don't need your beater stats. I don't know which trap was going to be the problem trap, but we're going to hit something. Lakunga token's going to be summoned. We're going to use Lakunga's effect because it's so good. This is why I said I wanted monsters in the grave for a monster like this. Forgot my Starboy died, so I could have used it earlier. And there we go. We got a Lakunga token with Starboy on the field. Now we're going to try and do insane... Uh, we're trying to win the duel right now, but we don't know if that new trap is the real problem. Uh, doesn't seem to be a problem so far, but hes I haven't used my bigger, bigger monsters yet. Okay, I'm going to use my big monsters, see if they do anything about it. Oh, it's because I used lower level monsters. Shit, he runs a stall card that isn't affected by his friend. Okay, well, that sucks. That sucks. I can bounce it back, but it sucks that he's a stall deck. And if he rolls a four, I'm going to be pissed. Nope, we're good. Oh, shit, he got a monster. Oh, that's fine. That is absolutely a-okay. He's not even willing to attack us. He's trying to stall with it, but that's what Yomi ship is for. And good. I was going to say, I just need to draw another monster. So we're going to make sure that I can actually attack this turn. By getting rid of Gravity Bind. We're going to make sure this UFO Turtle does not turn into more monsters by using Yomi Ship. By the way, that's five monsters, so we're in a we're in the clear. We also could just Compulse it, but we want to save that for an emergency. So even with a Field Spell Advantage, we just use Starboy to make up for it. And as long as Starboy was safe, life was good. So let's try this again. I attack with Lukunga. This is for game. He has to activate a trap. Okay, okay. I see, I see. This is why I said about Compulse. This is why I was talking about it. Oh! He's just dead. If he picked UFO Turtle, I was going to Compulse him. But if he picks this monster, I just beat it in battle. So, yeah, weird choice. I do not care, sir. So yeah, never fight Deloge, everybody. His deck is one of the most annoying things I've ever seen. He's trying to gravity bind, trap invincibility monster with good attack stat, and then bounce you back to the hand, and then blind destruction you. He's a bad person. Don't deal with him. Be happy that I did it for you. So after doing that, we have defeated another raw yellow, stu a raw yellow student that we were uh, scared of, and we win. Yeah, don't worry, man. We all lose sometimes. You just happen to lose this time. Hey, you're worth some money. How much are you worth? The same. Okay, raw yellow is 125. Gotcha. I did what I had to do. Next time you want to duel? No, I don't ever want to see you again. I th th remind me in the future, guys, to never duel Deloge. He's on my list of people I don't want to be dueling. So we did make some money today. I know we're making less and less each episode, but that is kind of what's going to happen. You, you guys got to expect that. 
Do you want to show? You know what? Let's show Chumley a little love today. We're gonna to actually duel him again. The reason we're willing to oh, I saw I saw the cat. Don't worry. Uh, the reason I'm willing to duel Chumley is um, I feel like he's one of the harder Slifer Red students, and he's good practice, but he's not a stall deck. He's just like, oh shit, this kid could beat me up if I'm not careful. So I might as well fight somebody that can actually beat me. <sighs> Yeah, me too, bro. Me too. We'll get some grilled cheese after this. Okay, I got Umi. I don't remember if he runs a field spell, but we're gonna play it safe at first. Not remembering if he does or not. I have the field spell and I have the monster that counts as the field spell. To make sure I can buff up my... Not buff up, I use my effect on Mermaid Knight. Such a good effect. Okay, he's not showing anything, but I know his deck... And I know his deck has Dez Koala with 1800 defense, so I'm going to need someone big and strong. A Sea Serpent or an Aqua, they're both going to get buffed. Let's go with the one with less defense. If it's Kangaroo Champ, I can maybe bait him into attack mode next turn. Oh, good, I was right. <clears throat> so I am able to kill this guy, and now I'm going to be able to bait him into... Ah, uh, never mind. Well, Kangaroo Champ did its job, and I'm okay with having a Water Monster in the grave, so we both win. Michizuri was a pretty good trap. Monster Gate would be pretty fun, I, I admit. I'm going to summon this guy just to see if he has another answer. I'm going to Monster Gate because I'm, 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 I'm willing to do it. I just want to see if I can hit something good. Vivian B. Oh, Lakunga! Yeah, that, that works because guess what? I have two water monsters in the grave. Now I can have a Lakunga token. Lakunga token can be used to bait the opponent into attack mode for adhesion trap hole, and it can be used for tribute for my boss monster, Giga Gaga Gigo. This guy. So let's go ahead and let's see what the defense mode monster is. There's the Des Koala. Oh, what? I'm getting beat by the classics? I'm not even mad. That's impressive. See, I told you this guy's got something. So I'll take 800 burn. That's why I try to get everything out of my hand. But he's going to kill my token. And I'm not going to be able to protect it. So that's a shame. That is a shame. He did real good. The chumpster knows what he's doing even back in this game. Of course, he's, uh, he knew his monster was going to die anyway, so he was willing to do that. More traps, huh? You're, you're an interesting guy, you know that? I'm going to go ahead and summon a fish of seven colors. And then we're going in. Akunga, go. Nanda. Nanda. <laughs> yeah, okay, we got him. Seven card fish, go. Majigiri's good face up, not face down. And Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. Goodbye. Chumley's life points are gone. Next turn, I'll go for game. Alright, I draw. I end. I summon my Lakunga. The double Lakunga ends this duel. I attack with seven colored fish. Kangaroo Champ, oh no. Turns out Chumley didn't have time to get to any of his good cards. 1700... 2,000, 1,700. How much damage is that? That's 34 plus 2. It's 5,400 damage. It's exact. <laughs> it's almost like I did the math. That's crazy. Oh, the jump is going down. Sorry, Chumley. Your deck has some combos in it. It just, it's not ready for mine anymore. He could show you some scary stuff. And there's duels where he'll just start Master of Oz and then you're actually just dead so be careful against him he's worth the same as mindy he's the same power level well, let's pay more attention to that i'm more curious about power levels he's power level 75 so we're gonna talk to sadie it's nice to see her at the shopkeep position welcome would you like cards i would love cards sadie i would love cards more than anything else in the world oh look dueling chumley made him my new favorite hooray let's get some chumley cards Let's get some... Yeah, yeah. the picture cards. They're cheap and they're valuable. I still need Call of the Haunted specifically, so let's get some of these. Um, these are expensive, but we need them, so let's get some. And only one of these. And one of these. Hopefully I get something new today from these. Alright, here we go. Blue Eyes Pack, what do we get? Ew. Ew. Ew, terrible cards. Oh my god, all horrible. That I actually needed, so there, there we go. What else? Uh, no. No. God, no. No. That's not bad. That one has an effect, at least. 
All right, what about you? Good card. Eh. No. Kind of good card. Yo! I gotta put a Dark Magician deck together. I never thought I'd pull that card. Dark Eradicator Warlock. What the hell? Oh, my boy. What's up, boy? I need giant rats, and I need them now. Oh, I got the card on the pack. Heck yeah. Good old Karibo. Shadow Spell. That's a usable card. That is usable. Okay, uh, yes, but I'm actually looking for Call of the Haunted. Thank you, though. Thank you. I understand. I understand. I'm, I'm the reason you gave me two. That card can have a use in certain decks. Okay, no Call of the Haunted today. Parasite Parasite's funny. Dummy Golem's good. Skellingel's good. Uh, White Ninja can be good. Crimson Ninja, no. No, no. No. Hey, it's Beluga's card. Hey, it's Chumley's card. We got Big Koala. Blade Rabbit, that could be useful. In my deck. Bubotic Vermin, if I get three of those. Okay. Okay, rarity-wise, how'd we do today? Oh, rarity-wise, how'd we do today? Ultra Rare Dark Eradicator Warlock. Super Rare Shadow Spell. Super Rare Karibo. And that's about it. The rest of these are just mid. I guess Big Koala is pretty cool. I got nothing against Big Koala. That's pretty cool. Uh, you know what? Nothing against Bubonic Vermin. Some good cards today. Some good cards. Maybe not for our current deck, but definitely usable cards. Guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. I had a lot of fun doing all this stuff. Let's get the cat. Here, here's a ramen noodle sandwich. Yeah, so I give this to the cat. Cat comes with me because the cat loves me. Uh, and then we're going to go outside. So, thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. We're trying to get to 100k, and guess what? We're going to. We're fighting so hard, and I appreciate you all for doing that for me. And, uh, yeah. See you next time when we go into the world of Yu-Gi-Oh!